Hi, now we've seen that in the previous video I showed you how we can uh, use this substitution y equals v times x and it was used to transform then this differential equation into this differential equation and we're now told that by solving the differential equation into to find a general solution of the differential equation 1 in the form y equals some function of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and as usual you can come back when ready, check your work solution with mine or you can fast forward to the end to get an overall view of the question. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So with this differential equation what we can do is separate the variables. In other words, put all the v's on one side and all the x's on the other. And if we do that and integrate both sides at the same time, what we get is the integral of 3v squared divided by 1 minus 2v cubed. And this is integrated with respect to v and it equals the integral of 1 over x integrated with respect to x. Now if we integrate this we can see that differentiating the bottom gives us minus 6v squared and that's minus 2 times the top here, a constant times it, so it's going to be a natural log type. The natural log of the denominator which we'll put in mod which is 1 minus 2v cubed but we do need an adjustment factor for this and it's going to have to be minus a half. And then we've got the constant of integration which you can put obviously on any side but I'll just put it on this side here. And then the integral of 1 over x, well that's the natural log of the mod of x. Now we've got this we want to group together the log terms and so what I'm going to do is add this to both sides and it's going to give me c equals and then we're going to have the natural log of the mod of x and then plus this term here but I'm going to use the power rule for logs and we'll take the half up as a power so we're going to have plus the natural log then of the mod of all of 1 minus 2 v cubed to the power half and then we'll complete that mod. Now because we're adding two logs together we can say that this is exactly the same as the natural log of the mod then of x multiplied by 1 minus 2 v cubed to the power half. And now that we've got that we can anti-log both sides. So therefore we've got e to the power c equals x multiplied by 1 minus 2 v cubed all to the power a half. Now e to c is a constant so we can just say that that's a constant, call it say a equals and We've got x then multiplied by 1 minus 2 and at this point we've got v cubed and from up here v equals y over x. So we can substitute y over x all cubed which is y cubed over x cubed and that's all to the power third. Now what we need to do next is to square both sides of this. So if we square both sides of the equation we therefore have a squared equals x squared multiplied by 1 minus 2y cubed over x cubed and just close that bracket off there. Now if we call a squared another constant let's say we call it b then we've got b equals and we can expand the bracket here x squared times 1 is just x squared and x squared times minus 2y cubed over x cubed is just going to leave me with minus 2y cubed over x. Next I want to get rid of this x here so I'm going to multiply throughout by x so we've got bx equals x cubed minus 2y cubed. 
and then I'm going to make 2y cubed the subject so if we add this to both sides and we we'll also take bx from both sides so we get 2y cubed equals x cubed minus bx but I think what we'll do is we'll factorize that at the same time so if we pull out x as a common factor we'll have x squared minus b next I want to divide by the 2 and that will give me y cubed so y cubed would equal x multiplied by x squared minus b then all over 2 and finally to get y all I need to do is take the cube root to both sides so we've got x times x squared minus b all over 2 and I'll put all of this in fact to the power one third okay so there's our solution y as a function of x